and I'd prefer to watch it tomorrow on the React Day, uh, seeing that this has been a highly requested stream for me to do Viewfinder and Philosophy Reacts. So I'd prefer to not watch the Mr. Beast video today, but I feel like pit people are going to spam it uh, the entirety of this stream. Let's pin a comment right now that says, I know the Mr. Beast video's out, uh, and we're going to watch it tomorrow. I'm not going to watch it today. All right. Uh, we're going to do that, okay? Because tomorrow I'm going to be live early as shit. I'm going to be live at fucking 8.45 a.m. tomorrow for a fucking Premier League soccer game. Uh, doing a watch party with JoJo from 9 to 11. Then, right when it ends, we'll watch the Mr. Beast video. How's that? It'll be early as fuck. It'll be like 11 a.m. How, how about we watch the Mr. Beast video then? I prefer not to watch it today, seeing that people have been asking me to do philosophy uh, reacts and viewfinder for the last, like, month. Uh, and I haven't done a philosophy react stream or a viewfinder stream in, like, two months. Uh, so I prefer not to take up an hour of my stream uh, reacting to Mr. Beast today. Uh, so we'll do it tomorrow. You're so tan. I'm really not that tan. Uh, rare for the sub. I think I already said that. But how are y'all doing today? Uh, we're doing Viewfinder today. We're doing fucking Philosophy Reacts today. Quick dub in the chat for that. I haven't done one in a while, as I've been saying. Uh, I don't know how long we're gonna play Viewfinder, but we're probably gonna talk about some philosophy shit while we do Viewfinder. Uh, and then Philosophy Reacts will, will kind of roll into as we desire. I don't really have a designated time. Like, when I do Fortnite and Val, I usually have like a, oh, I'm gonna play this for like two hours. I have no idea how long we're going to play Viewfinder. I have no idea how long we're going to do Philosophy Reacts. We're just going to fucking go with the flow. Those are the two things that we're doing today. Uh, so we're going to just continue doing them if we want to keep doing them and then switch to the other thing when we want to switch. David for the sub. I appreciate the 10-month sub there, bro. Watching Mr. Beast video tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, not today. Mods, are there any mods in my chat right now or am I alone right now? Am I a lone soldier? Are there any mods here? Mods! Chat, type mods. You heard about AMP? Yeah, I actually, uh, we talked about it yesterday when I was playing Uno with JoJo, uh, Kraken, and, um, fuck. JoJo, Kraken, me, and, uh, Tony. Uh, we were talking about it, uh, yesterday. I heard, if you haven't heard, chat, uh, the AMP guys got, like, arrested, or at least detained. I feel like arrested is the wrong terminology because they're not going to be in prison. Uh, they're in like a holding cell and then they're going to be, they're going to be released. I think they've probably already been released. Uh, but if you don't know what happened, essentially they went to New York, uh, and did like a fan meetup. And Kai was like, I'm giving away PCs in Manhattan at blank and blank time. And then, like, 30,000 people stormed the streets, uh, and blah, I was there, how was it? How many people were there? Uh, Twitch is broken for us, give us a second. Yeah, Twitch is glitchy as shit right now. Did Nodi actually go out? Because I just did my intro, I'm assuming it was probably just Discord Nodi. I feel like stream's kind of fucking glitched right now. Fix your hair, my hair's not even, like, fucked up right now. Uh, anyways, four people died, I don't think four people died. I'm actually gonna look that up. The fact that people keep saying four people died. Kai Sinat, uh, New York. I don't think four people fucking died. Yeah, it was just a riot. It was, it, he got, he got arrested for inciting a riot. Do you think he's going to get charged? He'll probably have to pay a fine. I don't think he's going to get like prison time. It'll probably just be like, he has to pay like 30 grand. I saw one video of some guy stomping on a Tesla like a fucking asshat and just broke the fucking windshield. I was like, dude, like people get way too hype at that shit. Like it's a fucking fan meetup for Kai Sinat and some dudes jumping on a fucking Tesla. Like it's really not that big of a deal. Somebody said 2.2K crying emoji. Oh my God, only 2,000 viewers? Holy shit, it's almost like Twitch is glitching out right now. And even if it's only 2K viewers... Oh my god, only 2,000 viewers? Oh no, dude, that's so little people. My Twitch is freaking out right now? Yeah, no, most people's are. Bullet and David for the sub. Uh, is Twitch not working for you guys? Dude, it's, it's like every right other week there's a fucking Bullet Twitch issue David now. Oh, I can't even see my fucking following tab. What the fuck? Yeah, it's glitching. I had to join on my PC. 
Oh, it's not working on phone? I can't even hear you. You can definitely hear me. It's just glitching. I can't even see how many viewers I have. I can only just see my stream, and it's it, it's that that's it. It's just showing that I'm live, and I can't see who I'm following. Yo, quick L Twitch in the chat for glitching out every other fucking day. Uh, but, chat, what are we doing today? I already told y'all we're gonna fucking get into this shit. Uh, we're playing Viewfinder today. I understand Twitch is glitching out. I'm sorry. I can't really control that. I understand there's less people in stream than normal. Dude, it doesn't matter. 2,000 people is still a fuckload of people. Once September hits, we're gonna fucking drop 2,000 viewers anyway, so we're gonna be around here in fucking a month anyways. Doesn't really matter, chat. W streamers, or not W streamers, W viewers for the people popping out anyway. Uh, I'm sorry Twitch is glitching, but I don't really have control over that, so we're just gonna keep streaming anyway. Uh, can y'all hear me, though? As, lo or as long as y'all can hear and see me, it's fine, right? Even if chat's glitchy and, like, it's not working as well, that like, as long as you can fucking hear and see me, it's not a big deal. Uh, what's Viewfinder? It's a new game that came out about a month ago where you're effectively a person with a camera and you pick up photos and you use those photos and then they morph into reality and you have to get to a certain designated point using that ability. Phantom for the sub. It's kind of like parkour, but not really. I've never played it, but I've seen people play it. Uh, so we'll see how good I am at it. But I thought I would do... Great. We're in. Time to explore. I thought I would do a vibey game today since we're doing philosophy later, right? Your mic is so quiet. Yeah, it's definitely not. Uh, I think you're just being a dick rider. Uh, you can build anything, yet you start to build a lab. There is no time like the present. We're coding pillows to watch footage. Popcorn next. The fuck are they saying? Is there like an actual story to this game or is it literally just a viewfinder game? The fuck was that? I had something else that I hovered over. What is this place? Oh, what is this place? Oh, see, here's a Whoa, you okay? Uh, your vials look good. I guess we know now that falling doesn't hurt. That's some good news, at least. There must be a way to get back up there. Oh, yo, what? That's sick! Yo, what? How do I fucking get over? Is this one gonna break, too? Oh, my God! Okay. What's that photograph doing here? See, look. This is the whole point of the game. Hold to aim and then press. Did, hang on, did you just shift reality? A teleporter! That's fucking sick. And I don't know where this is teleporting me. Probably to the other view. Yep, now I'm Glad in a different place. Somebody said I'm too high for this shit. Bro, it is fucking 2 p.m. Well, it is a Saturday. All right, what the fuck do I do with the battery? I probably got to bring it somewhere. Oh, there's another battery here. And another photo. Now, where should I place this? Wait, this is the same area that I'm in right now. This game is so fun. I watched somebody play it. It is cool how it's black and white. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do, though. There's another battery. What do I need to do? Do I need to power this back up? Oh, shit! I gotta fucking play some... It's almost working. Looks like we need one more. I dropped the one more! Fuck! Chad, how do I get it back? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to rewind. Okay, wait, now I have the two batteries and I have to pick up this last one. Okay, now we understand it. Y'all understand how the game works, yes or no? Because then we can actually start talking about philosophical shit while we play before we get into the reacts. I didn't know I need all three batteries. I thought I just had to put it into a fucking thing, not place it on a goddamn place pad. Uh, dead for the sub, Aiden for the sub, Darky for the sub. 
Uh, D-Boy for the five gifted. Stub in the chat for that. Thank them if you got a sub. Thank you for the five gifted, D-Boy 13. Phantom for the sub, Bullet, uh, and David for the sub. I already thanked those. Darky for the sub, David, uh, Deadpool for the sub. Uh, but yeah, now I know Twitch is glitching out one more time. Uh, I know there's like half of the amount of people that were, that are in this stream right now that were here yesterday. Dude, that just happens when Twitch glitches. It happens sometime. It doesn't matter if there's less people in stream. It's still fucking W stream anyways. I appreciate everybody that's still here. Uh, and yeah, no, dude, w once we hit September and school starts back up, we're going to fucking tank 35% viewership anyway, so it doesn't really matter. This is what we're going to fucking rock with, chat. Lock in! Well done. All right, now I can get in. Teleport me to the new area. I don't know the whole goal. I don't know the end goal of this game. Scream as loud as you can, please. Dude, no. Have you been in the hills? Scream as loud as you can. Dead much? Rip. Rip Joe Bartolozzi. I've been in the hills. You're short. 5'2", 4'11". I've been in the hills. Scream. Loud. Not funny. Deadpool for the sub. Uh, I also don't like... If somebody redeemed the channel point redemption, I'll do it. But I don't want to scream right now just because I still have strep throat. I'm going to have that shit for a fucking while. All right. What do you... Oh, I can rotate it in any direction I want? If I do that, will it teleport? It'll probably make the photo morph that way. I'm going to make it straight. All right, chat. What do y'all want to talk about pertaining philosophy today? We're going to get into some philosophy reacts after we play Viewfinder for a little bit. But, um, like, once we're in there, it'll obviously be topic-based based on the video. But what do y'all want to talk about right now? Meaning of life? Teleporter needs power. How the fuck am I going to get power? Oh, did I just fuck that up? I just fucked that up. I can't put it on the, the actual teleport plan. Life is Roblox? Life is kind of like Roblox. Hey, at the end of the day. Go. Oh, did that already power it? Why does it sometimes need one and sometimes need three? I gotta unlock it. Revisit levels. Whoa, this place definitely feels different than what we've seen so far. I'm about to lose my shit on this stupid fucking app like if it continues to not let me watch yet. anything. Yeah, no, Twitch is glitchy right now. Mr. Beast <laughs> uploaded. I know! Mods, please pin a fucking thing that says I'm watching the Mr. Beast video tomorrow. Puddled for the sub. It's really Human nice. connection? You have to give me a specific question. If you just say talk about human connection, what the fuck am I going to say? Oh, humans need to be connected. That's so valuable. Like, what am I going to say about that? This game is confusing. No, it's not. I could sit. All right, let me go find another fucking photo. There's no mods. There are this mods. I don't even know if they're stage. able to pin something Let's right go. now because Twitch is always fucking glitching out. What do you, like, when you guys say Twitch is glitching for you, what do you mean? Like, it's just not working? Or it's like, oh, your followage isn't there, or something's not fucking there. I don't know where the fuck I gotta go. I think I just gotta teleport through this one. That's not manifest. Spamming he's watching Mr. Beast tomorrow isn't pinning it. I'm gonna get fucking frustrated. I wanna do a con philosophy day today. I'm gonna get in my zen mode. Let's just think out right now. You know, let's just use our brain... I know if you can't pin it, that's fine. Wait until you're able to pin it. But like making a fucking Twitch announcement after I literally just flat out said, I want the pin for when new people show up and they spam Mr. Beast video. Manifest, you don't have to type Mr. Beast video tomorrow. I, they can hear me. Stoicism? What about stoicism? Rex for the sub, puddled for the sub. What do y'all want to talk about philo philosophically, chat? Stop just saying one fucking topic. You have to give me a question. I'm banning this kid that just said something racist. Oh, I can't even ban him because uh, the fucking Twitch mods won't work. Or not the Twitch mods. The fucking Twitch mod menu won't work. Yo, another quick L in the chat for fucking Twitch. The afterlife. See, now that's a topic that I could actually just talk about with one word. Chat, I'm assuming I actually have to get... Follow the gray brick road. It's called having a fucking high IQ, chat. It's called being fucking smart at shit. You know, it's, it's just, it's just that. How the fuck am I going to get over there? 
it's just being that smart, you know? I don't even know how I'm gonna actually get up here, so maybe I'm not that smart. I think I might have... I think I might have fucked up. Unless there's another thing over here that I can use. No, but okay. Y'all want to talk about? Do y'all want to talk about the afterlife? Yeah or nay? Rex for the sub. Who was being racist? He wasn't being racist. He said, he said Joe hates, and then something which was racist. Why do we all follow a government and not strike against them, depending on if we like them or not? Uh, because half of the people like the government and half don't. Everybody has a problem with the government, but. Oh my god, dude, that's great. This game is fucking nuts. Everybody, like, everybody has their own issues with a, a, a specific government. Like, even e even in the government today. Like, y'all probably have drastically different uh, political viewpoints in my stream. Maybe there's a surface you can use to climb up there. What is this? Can I just play music? I need, I need to understand. This place, beautiful as it is, carries so much weight. There is promise here. Promise of a future we can surely achieve. Even what? now, I'm striving Fuck! to... I never thought possible. All that I hope is that... That everything we do here continues to have meaning out there as How well. How the hell am I gonna get up Our there? sake. For Mirren's sake. Oh, is that not gonna work? No, but th that's like the reason... The reason that we don't strike against the government is just mainly because, like, what the fuck are you going to do, dude? I mean, like, half of the people are going to agree to do it, half the people aren't. And then at that point, you still need your government. Even if you don't like the government that you have, you sp you still... Oh, my God. You, you still need it, right? Like, you're going to still need to rely on them for specific things. Public amenities, shit like that. So striking against your government can work if you have everybody alongside of you, but outside of that, it would never work. And even so, like, y'all all have different viewpoints politically. Like, there's probably some things you hate about the government that we have today, and there's some things that you like. So uh, having getting everybody to agree to be like, oh, yeah, we're going to make a specific change. You could get that. Like, everybody would be like, I'm on board to make a change, but you're never going to have an agreement on what change should be made. And then even if you overthrow that government, you're just going to end up having a fucking another issue of, okay, well, now who's going to be in power after we overthrow the government? Who's going to make the fucking decisions after we overthrow the government? Can I make the sunset a thing? Oh, that's literally just a backdrop. And then little clouds. Wow, how beautiful. Okay, I maybe shouldn't have done that, but I don't know where else I should go. Is the U.S. really a democracy? Would you guys say the U.S. is a democracy? Yeah and no. But I would also say democracy has like... Oh shit, I didn't even know I could go over here to get the battery. Democracy is needed, obviously, and democracy is always a good thing. But there's also just like an extreme lack of education. Yo, how do I drop it? An extreme lack of education in how politics works. The majority of the people in the United States that vote don't know anything about who they're voting for on both sides, which is kind of a major problem. I don't know how I'm going to get into this building. I think I need to get up there and then fall down or get in that hole. Y'all see any other photos? What is this game viewfinder? I have two batteries here. I'm going to need one more. To be able to power that and it's probably inside why are none of my chats showing up twitch is glitching out right now not on my end on just twitch's end in general um so you're probably i don't think i've ever seen somebody strike such inventive tabulous while in re repose unfortunately for you uh or unfortunately for your latest ducky masterpiece your naps happen to be prime mischief making hours what the fuck are they saying like, is there a story here, or am I just reading random fucking messages? What do you think are some red flags a woman can have that may be come up? What are, what are some red flags that a woman can have that may bot come across as a red flag at first? Do you mean what's a red flag a woman will have that won't come off as a red flag at first? Uh, 
I don't know. JLX for the sub, Rex for the sub. Being jealous. Like, um, I think that applies with men and women. People that are, like, really jealous individuals can sometimes come off as, like, not a red flag because they're giving you attention, right? They like you, and that's very enjoyable for you as a person that's meeting them. Is like, hey, this person's really into me. That's great. But as you, like, get to know them more and more, and then you become, like, partners, them being jealous about everything will actually, in turn, become a problem. I don't know if I actually need a use these. I think I need these. Hold up. No fucking way that worked. That cut off the entire... Hold up. Where the fuck is the battery at? Oh, here it is. Yo, this game is actually a fucking dub. Where's the other battery? Oh, I lost the other one that's in here. Oh, shit. Parkour. Oh, my God. Oh, we're good. First time in your live? Is that a bad take, though? I feel like that's a genuine... Oh, is this not working? Why doesn't this one work? Twitch is back up. Dub in the chat. Oh! Why is that not... I feel like I broke it. No! Okay. Now it's working. Now I think it's okay. Yes. Okay, so if you hit it with something else, it breaks it. Fucking another problem, dude. Hold up. I need to get the battery, but I also need to be able to access those. Where the fuck is the battery at? Where the fuck is it? Hold up. There we go. Now I got it. And now I'm going to use that other one. And then I can open that pathway up. And then we're good. No, I don't want to rewind. Drop that. I'm going to get one more. And now it works. Easy as shit. High IQ. Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast. Read the fucking pin comment! It's alive. Oh my god. Oh my god. Use your brain. I know you're not a fucking squirrel. I know you're not a squirrel, dude. I know you sometimes may act like that. But holy fucking shit. Pinned comment. Watching new Mr. Beast video tomorrow. Max and Doggy for the sub. Back for the sub. Like, I, I, I know people want me to watch it today. If you want to watch it on your own, go fucking watch it. I don't want to watch the Mr. Beast video today. It's a fucking viewfinder philosophy day. <laughs> it's alive. <laughs> people have been asking me to do it for a while, so I've been trying to fucking schedule this in. So now when I schedule it in, I'm not trying to have an hour of the fucking philosophy viewfinder day scheduled towards fucking Mr. Beast. We'll do it tomorrow after I watch the fucking FIFA game. At, uh, fucking, I don't know, 9 a.m. Where the hell do I go? Oh, wait, I gotta get another photo. Infinite photo glitch. Oh, that's unusual. Oh, wait, I, I destroyed so my photo. So, is acting a bit weird. Do so I gotta get uh, over there? It's, 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 can you hear me? Can Welcome back. A little too soon for my liking, but happy to have you. Seems like the simulation had some difficulty maintaining itself. We might need to reroute our power sources to keep it running. Bummer, but that's what we get for messing with old tech. Don't worry, love. We'll get it sorted, and then it's off to the races with you. Oh my god, is this the real world? 
We could find a real tree of life in that. Or is it more intrigual than a lightning rod? Oh, well, either way, one thing's clear. The weather disruptor really might be the game changer we need. No way I just turned that bitch off and back on and it started fucking working again. Yo, what do you mean Twitch is working again, though? What was the problem originally? Like, I know it was... Nice work. Looks like we're back online. Ready when you are. Oh, I gotta go back into the simulation? Wait, so I'm not actually moving at all. I'm just sitting in this weird fucking bubble. our bearings and find where we left off. Talk about philosophy. I had to get back. I had, to, I had to focus on the game for a second. All right. What were we even talking about? I forget what we were fucking talking about. Because I just got fucking majorly distracted there. I gotta make it to this other teleporter. What were we talking about philosophically? We'll obviously get more into philosophy when we do the philosophy Focus reacts today. To like, I know I'm kind of half Excellent. distracted by viewfinder, but... Should be smooth sailing from here. All right, how Hopefully. the fuck do I make it up there, though? Made it. Oh, the government. Overthrowing a government. I mean, like, yeah, there's times in history where people have done that. But, like, okay, let's pan the scenario out. You over, you don't like your government. You overthrow your government. Me and youth overthrow the government. Me and you disagree on what should happen politically, right? We overthrow the government that's in existence right now because we both don't like that government. But what we think the government should actually be is different. So after we overthrow the government, who gets control? Either way, like after you do that, nothing will work, right? Start a purge? Yeah, no. Yo, the purge, do y'all like the purge movies? They're not bad, right? But they're so like, ugh. Like some of them are just fucking stupid. It's like these families that are so set on like, hey, I, I know this isn't really philosophy, but now I'm getting on an off-topic rant. They're so set on like, oh, we need to survive and not get involved in violence. And then they sit in their house. If you're trying to not die on the one day of the purge, lock your house and go on vacation for one day. If people destroy your house, people destroy your house. At least you're not fucking dead. It's all the purge only exists in the United States. And people come from other countries to participate. So why not just fucking go to Canada for f a, a fucking three days? Or, or, or go into the woods and like dig a hole. And then sit in that hole for like 12 hours. And you're fine. It's annoying. I really like the art style in this game, though. This is fucking fire. It's like I'm in a fucking Looney Tunes. Oh, God. Well, they made it actually 3D, except the tree isn't fucking 3D. I feel like I'm going on a downward slope. I probably should have done that. Where do I need to go? Are you? I found it. No, this was a funny one. <laughs> do I need to make it over there? Mm, not your usual style. You could say I was stretching my creative muscles. Oh, I gotta go in the house? How the hell am I gonna go in the house? Is this Hulu? Somebody just said, is it? Oh God, are there scary parts in this game? Okay, now we're good. Your mind is limitless. What game is this? Viewfinder. Where the Few fuck is the other photo? Than when you say that here. 
Oh my god, I feel like this game's gonna make me have a fucking seizure. Like that. I, I, there's like four pixels on screen right now, and I'm trying to decipher fucking different objects from each other. It looks like Skyrim. I don't think it looks like Skyrim. Oh, should I go on top of this? Oh, shit. And then make it up to the other castle? That's not going to work. Chat, how do we get over there? This game looks old, like an old game. It doesn't look... It, this game just came out. They're just using different gaming graphics for each photo. The bridge. <gasps> how do I activate the bridge? How are y'all activating the bridge then? The chain? What fucking chain? Oh, this? Oh, you're fucking kidding me. I thought that was just decor. Alright, another photo. Thank God. Get me out of that fucking graphic. Holy shit. I can actually see again. Next level! Jesus Joe's got a high IQ but a low IQ. That doesn't make any sense. I either have one or the other. Where do I need to go? There's a teleporter down here. Oh, no, that's past levels. I think I need to go to this one. Yeah, this is the next level. Battery. Boom. Now, where is the other battery? Joe, can I ask you something? Quick PSA. If you want to ask something in my chat, just ask the question. Because now I need to read, can I ask you something? And then I need to wait for you to ask me the question that you want to ask me. Joe, legit read my chat. Oh my god, what is with the people being pestering today? Holy fuck. Holy fuck. YT for the three. There are so many donos that I haven't read. Holy shit. Hold up. Uh, YT for the three. Are you going to be playing Spider-Man Miles Morales before Spider-Man 2? Yes. Vamp for the three. I believe that uh, having a good quality of life is better than having a long life. Would you agree? Would I rather live long or good? Is that? <laughs> oh, it must be. I would rather live. I would rather live a good life. Yeah. Like, would, I ra would you rather live to 70 and be in bad condition for the last five years of your life or live to 90 and be in bad condition for the last 30 years of your life? That doesn't make sense because then either way, you're in bad condition after 60. Let me rephrase that. Would you rather live to 75 but be in bad condition from 70 to 75 or live to fucking 90 but be in bad condition since 65, right? Like, I'd rather live a shorter life, but a happier life. But, I mean, I do want to live as long as I possibly can. Uh, I wouldn't want to live, like, a painful life. You know what I mean? Like, you know uh, that one video we were watching? On, not that many people are going to fucking remember this. It was a Tyler Oliveira video. And the one guy was, like, 86. And he looked great. He was still on a golf cart. He was having a good time, right? There's people that are 10 years younger than him that are like, all, like that, that can't move, right? And are in pain all the time. Like, I'd love to live to that age and be that healthy, right? But getting to that point is really hard, right? Like, most people die by the time they're like 77. The cookie crisp for the three. 200 right from 2K Bit Badge. I'm so poor, I'm going to cry. Anyway, random trivia question. Call me Ishmael is the first line from what classic novel? No idea. Call me Ishmael from what classic novel? Fred Bedhead for the three. What do you mean by who would run the government if it was overthrown? From what I gathered from the scenario you provided, the two people who overthrown it would be in charge. Maybe form an oligarchy. If you're able to overthrow the, uh, the American government, I think people who did it would know how they would want to govern. 
Would they? And would it work? Right? I mean, you got to look at history. There's a, There's been a lot of governments and empires overthrown just for those new empires to also be overthrown or collapse from failure, right? The U.S. government has multiple problems, but it makes more sense to fix those problems than to just say, fuck it, we're going to storm Congress, kill everyone, and restart. That doesn't make sense because that's going to cause more problems. That one guy for the sub. Gabe for the three. Uh, it's my birthday. I want to say you're my favorite streamer. Do you ever collab with Jinxie? Yeah. Uh, and thank you for uh, the fucking three and Happy birthday. Uh, Max for the three. Uh, I love your YouTube slash TikTok. So I did, uh, decided to come uh, to Twitch. You're my favorite streamer. Laugh my ass off. Thank you. Wobble for the three. Found a TikTok that you're getting tagged in a picture of a Nazi soldier that looks unbelievably similar to you. I know. I, I've seen that. I'm going to react to it sometime. Uh, dumb question, but you're not a time-traveling Nazi soldier, right? Yeah, I'm not a time-traveling Nazi soldier, dude. Uh, Big Brown and Mando for the sub for the three. Do you believe that... Th do you believe the heat death of the universe will be the end of reality itself? The heat death of the universe is just a supposed theory of how the universe may end. In this one, all the stars die and there's nothing but black holes and those evaporate. Then the universe just goes black. I believe the other theory of the big crunch where the universe will become increasingly larger and larger until it ends up collapsing in on itself and causing another big bang. However, it is as equally likely that the heat death would occur and everything would become farther and farther apart until everything just doesn't exist. Uh, all heat dissipates and then all matter is just non-existent and dark. That would be the end of our universe, yes. But we're all going to be dead in fucking 80 years anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Envo for the three. Are humans capable of comprehending the depth, the depths of existence and reality? No. Angel, Nick, Max, Doggy, and Fett for the subs. Matthews for the sub. That one for the sub. The reason humans can't... Well, test Hold up. Let me, let, me, let me figure out this copy, this photocopier first, and then I'll get into that. Like, I got trading cards. I don't know what I'm going to do with these photos, though. Do I need to get somewhere specific? Yes, but it's still sad that you'll die knowing humans will cease to exist. Dude, humans could cease to exist in, like, 20 years. If a fucking meteor smacks Earth and we all die. Like, humans could... Fuck. Why would I need that? What is the point of that? Hold up. Just boxes. Oh! Yo, what do I need to do with these photos? I need to get another battery, but I don't even see... I'm assuming I might have to get up top. I'm going to try and get up top. Maybe I should use the boxes. I'm going to photocopy the boxes. Copy the first photo... What is the first photo? Oh, you're saying this. Genius, chat. Absolute genius. New Mr. Beast video, read the pinned comment. All right, now we can take this. All right, what the fuck was I talking about? I said I would answer something, and I had to figure out how to do that shit first. Oh, 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 I remember. Why humans can't understand the expanse of reality? You're limited by per, uh, human perception. So you will never understand what true reality is. 
because everything that you understand perception and just logically is is limited by the reality that you live in what reality is actually like you will never know right and you can determine that reality is is different i don't want to say by like the hallucinogenic drugs also kind of like show that but it's also just like every little thing can warp your view of reality right growing as an individual can warp your view you, your view of reality taking fucking hallucinogens can warp your view of reality fucking living on another planet would warp your view of reality being blind being deaf anything that you're going through right every perception that you may or may not have every logical fucking idea that you may or may not have what language you speak everything can change how you perceive the universe and all of that is mitigated by human knowledge and human perception so trying to say like oh yeah we would be able to understand existence is impossible because as a human you can't grasp things that are not human uh or not materialistic human-based earth-based things us trying to grasp what a god would be like is feasibly impossible that's what like the Tao, or not the Tao. that's what um yeah that's what the Tao is in Taoism. like anything you may attribe uh or attribute to the Tao is not the Tao, right because whatever the truth may be you can't explain because you're limited by human perception trying to grasp something that is ungraspable is impossible right you can try and like understand it in human form but like sitting there and saying i'm gonna understand what a limitless creature would be like is literally impossible for you uh casey for the sub uh leo for the three view viewfinder feet finder mold for the sub jdm for the sub hogs for the three play coin game no i'm a joe b for the sub tay quack that one guy for the sub the more you ask me to play coin game every day the less and less likely i will be to play coin game all right let me photocopy this photo wait what is this ducky a collectible On second thought, why don't I write this one down? Can I just jump that? No. Play coin game? I'm not playing coin game today. It's Viewfinder Philosophy Day. Do we read the text? Oh, that's a lot of words. Water does it need to have a smell? I couldn't stop thinking about this while watching Hira tend to her plants today. There's an addictive quality to this place that makes up for inaccuracies that surround us when we come here. Out of thin air, we create beauty that tickles some, but not all of our senses. Strictly speaking, the code we create is technical marvel. Is a technical marvel and designs new structures, blah, blah, blah. I'm not reading that. Even though I read basically all of it. All right, where do I need to go from here? thing's fucking watching me it's a bit creepy oh do i need to get over there wait wait let's use our brain chat what do we need to do here there's a chair upside down that I could use. For what? The cat's following you? It is. I see that. You should play Resident Evil Village. Last time I played Resident Evil, it did terrible. It was a good game, but I'm not going to play it on stream again. Uh, Super for the three. Do you think if there was a heaven and the universe ended, that heaven would end? And do you think the Big Bang could have been from the universe that ended before this one? Yeah. Theoretically, there could have been infinite numbers of universes. You could have been live multiple times, right? In an infinite universe, you've existed before. If the universe, for an infinite amount of perceivable time, has existed and then collapsed and then reformed and collapsed and reformed and collapsed, you have been alive watching this stream thousands of times millions of times an infinite number of times you've existed forever you've existed and not existed 
It's kind of like torture. Uh, but you don't know that you're getting torture, right? Um, because if the universe is going is keep keeps expanding and then collapses and loops, you're just a part of that infinite loop cycle. Uh, and that's why a lot of people say deja vu is a thing because it's you having existed previously, either in another life or this exact life that you've lived previously. Uh, and you just don't remember it. Uh, casual for the three. I love Joe for the three. I made a theory that God is the fourth dimension being, hence the split of the sea and other godly things. Well, I don't think that's your theory. Uh, I think that's a theory that's probably existed previously. But, um, wait, what did somebody ask? Uh, do you play, do you plan to play Subnautica? Yeah. Uh, I was going to play Subnautica August 19th as the start date, but I'm doing a Minecraft tourney that day. Um for it's it's gonna be like a whole like 90 fucking minecrafter thing it's gonna be a fun i can't give details away but it'll be a minecraft tournament so some nautica's getting moved down casey for the sub matt for the three mold for the sub uh super for the three um do i think that heaven would end if the big bang or if the universe ended well if heaven is real that would be outside of this physical universe uh so no um, but I also don't know because I'm a human, <laughs> so I can't give you a definitive answer. Um, also might be a stupid question. How can we ever know anything truly if our knowledge is based off another's, based off another's, based off theories? Yeah, you kind of get into, um, like a stuck, a stuck fucking box, right? Because everything that you know is based off of other things that you know. When there's nothing to be known, it's easy to make a path because you can think of anything that you want, right? But when you're trying to think of why do I exist, you're using previous ideas to logically indicate why you exist, right? If you're thinking, what's the afterlife like? You're going to try and relate it to things that you already know, which is, probably, which is part of the problem. Trying to come up with a new idea based on older ideas is just the recombination of older ideas to make a new idea. Coming up with anything new is physically impossible for a human, right? You can come up with new things that already exist based on perceptions that you have, and you can combine and rearrange them. But try and imagine something that doesn't exist. If you try and imagine something that doesn't exist, it's just a combination of things that already exist. Again, showing that your human perception limits you and that you can't actually understand genuine reality because you can only imagine things that are combinations of things that you have already seen or perceived. It's like telling a person that's blind since birth to imagine what red looks like. It's the same thing as me telling you to try and imagine something that you literally can't imagine. Uh, we could be totally wrong about a lot and never question things because of facts. Yeah. Well, I mean, time is also something that's just genuinely uh, a human construct. Time, time is related to distance, which is related back to time, right? Like, if I'm going 60 miles per hour, I'm basing distance off of time and time off of distance, right? And time is only perceivable because we have something that can perceive it. If nothing with perception existed, one year would be the same as a billion years. There'd be no definitive time on how long something takes to go somewhere. It would just happen. Matt for the three. Caleb for the sub and uh, the diamond for the five. What is your favorite uh, on-stream game you've ever played? Probably the quarry. Uh, I don't know. What's y'all's favorite on-stream game I've ever played? Also, I have no idea what I got to do with this fucking chair. I maybe need to photocopy it. That's the only thing I can really think. But even if I photocopy it, what am I going to... What am I going to do with it? And that's just a chair. Oh, no, it is. A t it's a teleporter. It's not a chair. Oh, my God. It's a teleporter. Hold up. Let me photocopy this, and then I can make my way there. I thought it was just a fucking plastic lawn chair. Dave the Diver? All right, stop being a fucking dickhead. Dave the Diver is your, fa your favorite game I've ever played. Be real. Come on. I said Dave the Diver. Dead Island 2? That one was alright. I didn't finish that, though. It was a fun game, though. 
I wonder what's else is was in. pretty good. No, Walking Dead was good. What's KFC that? loves him. That looks interesting. Wait, am I back at my? Let's check it out. I must admit, I'm surprised you made it this far. It's been a while since someone's wandered around this place. Oh! And it's good to have you. Shall we continue onward? The train will take us to Haraya's station, a place where science and art meet nature. Aran was a brilliant designer. Okay, this cat's all freaking me out. Lovely artistic elements you see are all thanks to his handiwork. Though his colleagues were just as amazing in their own right. Their work was always set to change the world. Cuss the talking so Tom. <laughs> Cook the <laughs> cat. Dude, it's like stringy. It looks like somebody put it in a paper shredder. I'm not gonna be able to cook the cat. I can't move. Why can't I move? I'm Kate, by the way. Oh, you're An Kate the cat? Developed by Mirren to maintain this place. I'll be here to assist you in any way that I can. And I look forward to seeing what wonders you discover. Alright, let me out. Get me into the next level. YT for the five. What's your view on space and the different theories on life outside of our planet? What do you mean, what's my... Like, space is the most fascinating thing to me. And what do you mean the different theories on life outside of our planet? Give me an example. BLB for the three. Or for the sub, not the three. Matt for the three. Caleb for the sub. You boy for the three. Uh, when aliens are confirmed to be real, do you think it'll be like a secret invasion, men in black, mass effect, or something? I'm curious on how humanity would react to actual aliens in our galaxy. I doubt they would become a part we'll have of... have to find out. That's how they got around. I doubt they would become Whoa. a part of our, like, world, right? Like, if aliens existed, or... I I aliens exist, in my opinion. Like, definitively. But if aliens come to Earth... They're not going to, like, live with us, right? I don't think it'll be, like, Futurama, where it's, like, a, a person, and then an alien, and then a lobster man, and then, like, it's not going to be like that, right? It would just be like, hey, we also exist, and then it would be kind of, uh, we'll keep in touch. We'll come visit you in five years, or some shit. I don't know. Or aliens could just kill us, right? You never really know. I, I think part of the issue with aliens being revealed to the public is that uh, many governments would uh, try and uh, kill them. <laughs> North Korea. Uh, or other countries that would be, you know, um, threatened by the, the fact that aliens exist uh, and feel as if not even just North Korea, maybe even the United States. Uh, but there's many countries that would be very hostile towards even peaceful aliens, uh, to the effect that, um, they wouldn't, that, that would mitigate people wanting to even show that aliens exist if they know, right? Uh, not only just, I always bring up that, the, the fact that if aliens exist, that would disprove, like, a bunch of religions, uh, but also the fact that um, people would fucking freak out, right? If aliens existed, people would lose their mind. I think we would be fine, right? I think millennials and Gen Z, like Gen Z like us, I think we'd get it, right? But like your parents, right? Like 40-year-olds would have... Uh, a mental breakdown. If we're still early on into our life where, like, if shit changes, we can adapt, right? Because you're, you're young, right? Everybody in the chat is between, like, 13 and 25, generally. There's, some, there's probably some people that are, like, 28, 29. But, like, you're below the age of 35. If something drastic happens in your life, you can change, right? But, like, a 45-year-old has set their life, has set their opinion, has everything set about them. If aliens exist, they're fucked. Like, their whole personality, their whole view of reality, everyone's view of reality is going to change. I don't think they're going to be able to adapt to it. Mr. Squiff for the three. Do you feel eternal torture if heaven and hell are real? Um, 
Oh, do you fear eternal torture? No. Um, because I don't think that... I think if heaven or hell... If it's heaven, hell, hell, or heaven... If... Say... Okay. If any of those exist, I think it's heaven. I think there's a definitive oneness with God in the afterlife, right? I don't think there is an eternal... In my opinion, right... I'm not dissing anybody's opinion. You are allowed to have your own opinion. You're allowed to have your own belief. You're allowed to have your own spiritual faith or religious belief. And please share with me your own opinion. I don't believe in eternal torture, right? I think it's something that is kind of used in, in some ways to get people to follow a rule set, uh, which can work, but I, I see a lot of flaws in that, and I don't understand why... Uh, eternal torture would exist for some people, right? Like Adolf Hitler. Yeah, he, him going to hell, not a shocker, right? Muhammad Gandhi didn't accept Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. Was a great guy, right? Did amazing, amazing things. He would be in eternal torture, right? That's not it. That doesn't make sense to me, right? I think if heaven and hell exists and eternal torture is a legitimate thing, I think that is reserved to a very select few people. I think, I don't think that many people deserve eternal torture. I think many people do wrong things in their life. I think everybody does wrong things in their life. I think you can overcome those things and become a better person in your own life, right? Now, if you're going around and fucking slaughtering people like a serial killer and you never have remorse, you're a shitty person, right? But if you do something bad and you you overcome that and you feel terrible for what you did and, and you work for the better, I don't think you deserve to be eternally tortured. Is that a tree? And I think that religion would actually agree with that. I think Christianity would actually agree with that. That's the whole point of um, confession and overcoming your sin and becoming a better person, right? Have you studied Islam? Uh, briefly, but I don't know why, but it's, okay, here's one of the tempor temporarily locked. I gotta go find another teleporter. Um, I study mainly, uh, This must be the next set. In- Maybe we'll find out more about the work being done in this area. In, uh, okay, that's the next level. I'm just gonna see what else is around here. Um, in my college classes, religiously, I'm not talking philosophically, Religiously, I mainly study um, Asian religions and Christianity. Those are the major, and, and then the Christianity subsets, right? Uh, the denominations. Uh, I don't know why that is. That's just how my philosophy teachers are. I don't think I have uh, any professors at my university that are um, experts on Islam. Uh, but I would love to learn more about it. I have briefly, but I mainly touch on like Christianity, Confucianism. Uh, Taoism, Buddhism, Hinduism, Buddhism a lot. Um, and I really love Buddhism. Uh, but there's like, I, I, mainly that, right? Fat for the 382. But I know, I know the basics of basically every, not every religion. I don't want to say every religion. I know the basics of most religions. Fat for the 382. W stream, uh, what do you think will happen once we can travel from planet to planet fast? Uh, we'll all be dead. Uh, but, uh, I don't, I don't know. That'll be when humans start to evolve. I always wonder, um, what humans will look like in a hundred thousand years, right? If we're still alive as a species, we'll be dead, right? But like, imagine with how we change, like with how our bodies are geared for reality today, we don't need to be rugged animals, surviving in a fucking jungle, right? We're no longer hunter-gatherers, right? Uh, we live, I mean, we are, but we live in a society, right? Where things are done. We have machinery. So, like, how our bodies will look a hundred years from now, how humans will look, how your descendants will look, will be indiscernible. 5,000 generations down, if we're at, uh, still alive as a, a, a fucking race, and you and your kids, 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 5,000 generations down, they won't even look like humans. Especially if they grow up on other planets like Mars, 
where the gravity is different, they're going to look different. They're going to be way bigger. They're going to have weaker bones, but they're going to be taller. They're going to be giants, right? Or if they're on a, a, a fucking area where there's a lot, like smaller gravity, or not smaller gravity, stronger gravity, they're going to be they're going to be tinier. They're going to be more stocky, like more Neanderthal looking. It depends where you live. Your body adapts over generations depending on where you are, what you're surviving in. That's why we're changing now. That's why your fucking pinky toes look like they're about to fall off because you don't really need them as much as you used to. If you look at apes, they have longer toes and longer feet for gripping. But now, since we walk upright, you don't really need that. Mr. Scroll for the three. If heaven or hell is real, do you think you'd go to hell if you were a good person but didn't believe? No. In my opinion, I know most, I know most people religiously within Christianity would disagree with me. But in my opinion, if heaven and hell are real, I think you need to be a good person to get there overall. But the issue is, how do you gauge that? How do you gauge how good of a person somebody is? You can't. Unless you're assigning point values to good and bad deeds. And how remorseful they are of the bad deeds. And how good their intentions were for the good deeds, right? Because you could do something good, but only do it for your own personal gain, right? That's not really good. You could do something bad and be remorseful, and that would make you better. You could do something bad and not be remorseful, and that would make you worse. You could do a good deed and open a door for somebody that's like plus one point. You open the door for somebody to make you feel better about yourself. You open the door for somebody because it was a hot girl and you wanted to get with her. That's not a good deed. That's you being selfish, right? So gauging morality is almost impossible. Baby Blue for the fucking five gift. Thank you for the five gift is Baby Blue Samurai. I wrote my uh, paper. I wrote, I wrote my last semester's final paper on um, morality between Friedrich Nietzsche and Buddhism. Uh, and I kind of write how morality is a societal construct that is required but objectively doesn't exist. Uh, in the sense that nothing is definitively right or wrong, it changes over a period of time. But for society to run, you need morality to exist. And for people to be able to function as a human, you need morality to exist. Otherwise, people will just start killing each other. There's this YouTube series called Street Epi Epistemology, where this guy talks about uh, all of people's face using epistemo uh, epistemology. Why am I saying ep epistemology? Epistemology. To learn their justification for uh, what they believe in generally, uh, what makes people convert to agnosticism or atheism. I think you would like it. Uh, Caden and Josh for the sub. Uh, send it in the, uh, the video suggestion tab. Wh uh, Witty for the three. Today's my 19th birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, Mitch, uh, Mitchell for the thousand biddies. Uh, Fett for the 382. I already read that. All right. Josh for the sub. Let's go into the next level here. When do y'all want to go to uh, Philosophy Reacts, by the way? Where the fuck am I? Oh, did I teleport to the next level? I did. When are you watching the hitchhiking videos? I don't know if I'm going to watch more of those. I might. But tomorrow's going to be a react day. Tomorrow I'm going to be live early as shit. Yo, be real chat. Is anybody going to be able to pop into my stream tomorrow? I'll be live at 8.45 a.m. EST. I'll be live early. We're doing a Premier League game watch party, right? I'm going to be legally watching... Uh, a premiere game with JoJo. So it should be fun, if, especially if you're into to football, soccer. Especially if you're into soccer, football. Um, you can watch that. It'll be 8, 8.45. I'll be live just for 15 minutes uh, to do a little intro. Then the game will start. Uh, we'll be watching it for about two hours until it's done. Then I'll be doing reactions. We'll watch the Mr. Beast video tomorrow right after it ends. Uh, so we'll probably be live 8.45 to 11 doing soccer and then 11 to like... 1.30 doing reacts. Uh, and then Monday, I'll be live 1 to 3 doing the soccer watch party. And then uh, 3 to like 5.36 doing custom BO3 uh, with uh, Zussi, Gutsy Aiden, and Zafo. Uh, I'm a Joe B for the 3. Typically longer videos, 30 to 45 minutes would be good for a late night. Uh, also, chat, did y'all fuck with yesterday's stream? With me, JoJo, uh, Kraken, and Tony? I thought that shit was fun as hell, playing Uno and fucking Fortnite. I wanted to keep playing, but JoJo had to go. I mean, to be fair, he legitimately did have to go. Because it's like, oh, it was a whole... He didn't do the tech check for the soccer thing tomorrow. Uh, and it takes like an hour. And so he had to set it up. And they, they had a designated time of when he had to do it, and he didn't. So he did have to skedaddle. Wait! No, 
nice one. What? Huh? This game is fire. Uh, sorry, the simulation is really Uno was fun as fuck. Should I make the Uno into a YouTube video? The Fortnite, I'm not going to make a new YouTube video. The Uno, I might. Oh, God. How the hell am I going to fucking do that? All right. right there wow i love this game it's so simple but it's fun as shit oh there's a little phone Hello? oh thank god you answered uh it's me i don't know how it happened but somehow i lost direct communication with you live comms don't seem to be working where you are that should be fine though we can talk using this method as long as you pick up i'll try to leave voicemails if you can't but leave a voice i've been monitoring your vitals in the system so, I'll keep you posted as you wander along. Good luck in there. Ah, these are interesting experiments. And I like that they rely on creativity. <laughs> There's a lot of creativity in nature. Unexplainable things that uproot themselves in fine purchase. I'll make sure to keep an eye out and see how this experiment might blossom. Hold up. Let me cook. Let me cook. Fuck. Hold up. How the fuck are you gonna... Further away? Yeah, but then I'm to the side. I think I need to go all the way back to this, and I need to get rid of this. Look. Look. Hold on. Watch me. Watch a master at work. Watch a fucking master at work here. Look. Hold up. There it is. And then we go over here. There it is. Oh! Love this game. This game is so trippy, I know. Ooh. Seeing you walk around this place brings back memories. Where does that go? Why is that one locked? Why do I need an eight card and a fucking... Why would I need this? What does the Tottenham get? How do you say Tottenham again, chat? How do you say it? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. When is the Spurs game? I'm just going to say that. Tottenham. When is the Tottenham game? Tomorrow. Uh, the Tottenham game's tomorrow, and the Liverpool game is Monday. Zanny for the three. I know I have a dumbass username. I made this a while ago. My name's Aiden, and I'm one year younger than you, and I've struggled with extreme OCD my entire life. Your videos and streams have helped me with my anxiety, uh, or when my anxiety is through the roof and you've genuinely made me laugh. Keep up the good shit. I love you, Joe. Thank you for the fucking 300 bitties, and I'm glad I could help, man. Serrator for the three. Uh, and I'm sorry you gotta go through that, bro. I'm not sure if I told you this already. You should play Friday the 13th with other streamers. I know. I'm, I, I'm gonna set that up. I'm gonna set up a scary game soon. Mason for the five. Uh, what time are you going to bed tonight? Wanna know so I can wake up in time for the football game to, uh, for a stream. Why do you need to go know when I'm going to bed? The stream will be at 8.45 a.m. I don't know when I'm going to bed. Uh, the diamond for the three. What does being happy mean to you? Uh, Rad Buffalo for the three. I know you don't as many uh, have as many viewers when you do philosophy streams, but I think you should do them like twice a month. They are fun. I'm a Joe B for the three. Uh, what does being happy mean to me? Oh. Wow. 
Why did I need the eight and the five card? All right, I made it through that one. Uh, what does being happy mean to you guys? Dude, what is happiness? The absence of sadness and boredom. Money, money does not, money is not happiness. Money removes stresses in I life, which in turn increase your meant. chances of being happy. Is more but money does not inherently make you happy. Regardless of how much money you have, you will always have problems. You will always be unhappy at moments, right? You could be a billionaire right now. You're still going to be pissed at some times, right? You're still going to be stressed out. You're still going to be anxious. But, like, why would I need this? Oh, up here. Money does buy happiness. I would Be disagree. Sure to catch my good side, all right? Oh, he doesn't even show up on the fucking photo. Why do I need these now, too? Oh, shit. Excellent shot. There we go. You think I'm going to need all five? We'll do this last level, then we'll get a philosophy react. It buys all the things that make you happy. It doesn't buy you love. It doesn't buy you friendship. Actually, if anything, it would decrease that. The more money you have, the more odds, the, the higher odds of other people being fake. Right? If you're if you're poor as shit, if somebody's your friend or if somebody's in love with you, you know they're in love with you just because you're you. Right? If you're if you're rich and somebody's your friend, they might actually fucking hate you. And they're only your friend because you have money. Or you could be married to somebody and they're only married to you because you have fucking money. Right? Same thing with fame. Like, really famous people, like Johnny Depp or, like, any of those motherfuckers. Robert Downey Jr. Like, they're absurdly rich and absurdly famous. People might only be friends with them because they idolize them, not because they actually just like them as an individual. So, yeah, like, I, I would say, yeah, obviously, like, I would want... I would rather have money than... Wait. I'd rather have money than not have money, but at the same time... I can see what people say when there's stresses that go alongside it. Did you react to the new Mr. Beast video? No, I will on, uh, or not on, tomorrow. Tomorrow at uh, 2 p.m. Or not 2 p.m. Tomorrow at 11 a.m. actually, after the soccer game's done. Because uh, I'll be live at 8.45 a.m. I'll be live early as shit. Yo, where the fuck is this other battery, chat? What game is this? Viewfinder. That's why rich and famous people date other rich and famous people? Yeah. Because if they date somebody that's not rich and famous, there's a chance that they're just dating them because they're rich and famous. Whereas if you're equally as famous as a famous person, you know they just like you because there's no reason for them to be biased. To your right? The battery's over there. Yeah, that's so helpful, man. Yeah, over there. Amber Heard and Johnny Depp, well, they just didn't work out for many, many reasons. But when you have uh, something someone else doesn't, like a car, they'll hang out with you because you have that. Yeah, people want what they can't have or what they don't have. It's right there. Where? Where? I 
I removed it. I don't think I did. <gasps> oh, oh my God. Yo, where is it? Did I miss reacts? No, it's not a regular react day today, too. Tomorrow will be regular reacts after the soccer game. Where the fuck is the battery at? I feel like it's got to be, like, up there. What soccer game? A premiere game I'm watching on stream tomorrow at fucking 9 a.m. Restart and take a picture of it? I don't think I'm able to change what I'm looking at. Uh, wait. Oh. Uh, motherfucker. Quite the clever solution. Smart! I've been meaning to ask, what brought you here to the simulation? Uh, not that I mind company. Hold the fuck up. On the contrary, really. I find you to be quite adventurous and fun. I need a camera to face that way so I can take a photo of it. in the wrong fucking way. Hold up. Hold up. Shit. And I fucking did it! Save. All right, y'all want to play this another day? Yay or nay? Kibo for the 10. Uh, I'm going to shit in your kettle. Uh, SDW for the 5. I don't want to be annoying or anything. While, uh, why we watch football tomorrow? I just know, uh, didn't know you enjoyed watching football. Also want to say thanks for making a lot of my days uh, better, especially in a current situation. You might remember I told you about my uncle with cancer. Uh, I feel like he's uh, kind of giving up some days. Uh, have you spoken to him recently? Um... And we're watching football tomorrow because, uh, number one, they're allowing me to watch a premiere game. 
Uh, normally this would be like, for, unless you don't have their permission, watching a premiere game on stream is illegal. Uh, it's copyright, but, uh, they're sponsoring me to watch a premiere game. So I'm watching two premiere games tomorrow and Monday, uh, which is a dub, uh, for premiere. Uh, I'm glad that they're allowing me to do that. J1 for the sub, NG for the sub, FJH for the sub, uh, and Zanny for the three. Do you believe in other dimensions? Some psychics. Uh, or Sykes have shown me uh, visuals to believe. Uh, so I know, uh, oh, psychedelics. So, uh, but I also know it's just a drug. Have you ever had a spiritual experience? Yeah. Uh, but I would still believe in other dimensions. That's just a mathematical thing. That's not even just hallucinogenic. Uh, aliens definitely exist. Oh yeah, for sure. Mr. Squiffin for the three. I've gotten TikToks before saying, uh, if you want a relationship with somebody, maybe God's, uh, not giving you one because your relationship with God isn't good enough. Do you think relationships... And faith with God could hinder my outcome of a relationship works of if a... Wait, do you think relationships in faith with God could hinder my outcome of if a relationship works or pops up in real life? I think your relationship with yourself is what is hindering you of getting a relationship with somebody else. There are many people that are not f religious at all that are very happy with somebody that they're with. I think part of your relationship with God is somebody that is faithful, having an issue with themselves as well, that they need to patch with God, right? But if you're an atheist, you're still able to have a good, healthy relationship. There's people that don't believe in any gods that are happily married and will be married for the rest of their life, right? I think the big thing is if you're not in a, in a relationship, you're not able to get in a relationship. Um, it's working on yourself and then finding the right person, right? It's Raider for the three. Uh, Josh for the three. If you had to guess what team would you say will win the Premier League? I don't know. Fat for the sub. Um, I'll watch like a few Premier League games every season, but I'm not actually like that in tune with, like, what is the best team. And so I really don't know, uh, in all honesty. Uh, but let's get into philosophy here. Um, I'm going to give you all a few options of the videos that we're going to react to. Philosophy, react time. Uh, and you guys are going to choose. All right. Somebody said, cough, cough, man united. All right, chat. We're gonna we're gonna watch a few here. I'm gonna give y'all some some options, okay? Um, why money can't buy happiness? We literally just fucking were talking about that. It's a TEDx video. Um, veterans describe killing during wartime. A message for all humanity. Uh, why we feel nostalgia? Why do stupid people re not realize they're stupid? We're the last humans left. Or the Unabomber's ideas explained. I just said so many. Let's start out with this. The U Dar Man? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Guess who recommended Daw Man? Fortnite Battle Pass recommended Daw Man for today. Uh, it's a philosophy day, Fortnite Battle Pass. Uh, come back. Come back tomorrow. We might watch some Daw Man tomorrow. Uh, Fortnite Battle Pass. Uh, but today is going to be a philosophy day. What that essentially means is we're going to be thinking about things uh, and showing our opinions. Uh, however, Daw Man might be tomorrow. Uh, but we're not going to be watching Daw Man today. Sorry, Fortnite Battle Pass. We'll see you tomorrow. At 11 a.m. After, uh, after, uh, after the soccer Pumio game. Uh, you know soccer. It's in oh, some of the Fortnite maps. It used to be in the Tilted Towers. Uh, on top of the Tilted Towers, there used to be a... Uh, a little, a little football arena. Used to be a little soccer ball that you could kick around. Uh, I'm watching a, a pro league game of that, right? Uh, and then that's from 8.45 a.m. to 11 a.m. tomorrow. So I'm going to be live really early, right? Uh, and then after that, we might watch some Daw Man. Uh, we're going to watch the Mr. Beast video then, too. All right. I'll give you all three options. The Unabomber's ideas explained why we feel nostalgia or why do pe stupid people not realize they're stupid. We're going to be able to watch a lot, though, but it's which one we start with. One, two, or three. Unabomber, why we feel nostalgia or why do people not realize they're stupid. One, two, or three. Mm. 
I'm getting a lot of twos and threes. So we'll start with two, then we'll go three. Uh, actually, we'll go three to first. Explain we'll a new more three. So we'll start with three, and then we'll go to two. Bro, this is actually an infographics video. Never in my life do I, I did I think infographics would make a fucking why do stupid people feel stupid. Uh, all right, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right. Lock in here, chat. First Sweet. philosophy react in a fucking while.